Yo, been a while. I mean, this hasn't really been my longest break ever, but it was definitely most necessary. So allow me to explain. School started as I mentioned before, and due to this I've been getting absolutely fucked. Meaning my schedule has been tighter than Mary came these past few chapters and I've had no chances of recording or editing videos. The only time I did have a chance was last week's chapter review, and to be completely transparent, I got hit with the good old flu, and I was voice cracking harder than a 12 year old going through puberty. And I didn't really want to upload a review that was just a voice crack fest, so I decided I'll just leave it to next week and get back to uploading then. But I will say one thing, I've missed you guys on uploading in general, and your amazing support is always greatly appreciated. Now for the chapter. Now I'm not sure if I've said this before, but if I haven't, then I'm saying it here right now. The first affiliate has become my favorite arc in Lucasm. Before it was kinda like in between the god dog arc and the third affiliate, and maybe hostile, but the first affiliate has been crazy. And this chapter really bolstered that and set it in stone for me. So practically throughout this whole entire chapter, Samuel is still in his depressed anger mode, where he hates the fact that Jake is actually Gap Young's son and not him. So he's holding a pretty solid grudge against Jake here. He literally wants him to die. And I'm gonna be honest, at the start here, I wasn't looking too hot for Jake. I mean, I don't think he would lose, but like, I kinda thought he would lose. Something that was really cool that was not my favorite part of this chapter was the parallel they had between Jake and Samuel. I loved the continuous references back to the old Jake and the old Samuel, how they used to fight all the time and how Jake's goal has always been to protect Big Deal. And now speaking of Samuel, I mean, Jin Young makes it clear that this motherfucker is crazy. His body will be filled with insanity in contrast to Johan whose body was filled with rage. Something that is similar between the two though is that they only know how to throw punches. Jin Young also confirmed that Samuel is the type of person who gains strength not from proper training but from feeling a sense of inferiority. And we can probably assume that this sense of inferiority is directly proportional to the insanity level that Samuel ends up being in, as the more inferior he feels to Jake, the more his personality starts leaning towards Patrick Bateman. Something pretty funny, also, was that Jake never seemed to understand why exactly Samuel was acting the way he is. I mean, he knew he was intoxicated and all, as Alexander had already informed them of such information. However, the cause of the grudge Samuel held against Jake always seemed unclear to him. At first, he thought it was because they never finished their fight in that big deal segment, and then he thought it was because of the battle royale that happened between the three crew heads and Samuel at that point. And even after Samuel kept repeating the phrases Gap Young's son and AC units, he still couldn't put two and two together. But yeah, that's uh, Jake came for you. Anyway, moving on, I was kind of tweaking when this happened, but Samuel was about to end Jake's life before Alexander stopped him from doing so, and when the shot pans to Jake's face on the floor, his eyes are drawn in the identical way that PTJ drew Vasco's eyes when he entered the state of runner's high. And I thought I was going crazy when I first saw this. But then they zoomed in and I started actually going crazy. However, they ended up cutting back to a flashback and his eyes never really did the same thing ever again. Speaking of said flashback, we got Mr. Lightning Troy up in here. And Jake shares a similar worry to Zack that he's been contaminating in his chest for quite a while now. It's that he fears that after all this, he still won't be able to protect anything. But of course, Gong Soap couldn't be the only one to drop an absolute banger of a quote this arc. Lightning Troy had to drop one as well. He basically stated that a long time ago, when he asked Gapriang how he could become just as strong as him, his response was just overcome. He also told him that he was strong due to the fact that he understood what his power was in the first place, and he gave Jake the simple yet powerful advice that in order to overcome, he must understand and decide what he wants to do with the fist he's been gifted by Gapriang Kim. And that is a very valuable gift. The blood that he inherited from his father is one of infinite potential. That's just crazy to be honest. Jake, of course, just like his dad, overcame the obstacle that was placed in front of him. In Gapriang's case, it was Elite, and in Jake's case, it is Samuel. And he did this in order to protect his friends, which are the members of Big Deal. And also everyone else, like Alexander, who stimulated this flashback in the first place. And his fight ended just like Zack's did with Johan, a simple counterpunch that hit harder than a fucking lightning strike apparently. As a matter of fact, he hit Samuel so hard that when bro woke up, not only did he see Gap Young instead of Jake, but he also called him daddy. And now we move on to the end of the chapter, and we discover that Jay Hong has been brutally off screen by UI's second body Daniel himself. Was he that much stronger? We don't know. Cause Jay apparently chose not to fight back. And Daniel walks in on this, and confidently, with no hesitation at all, calls himself a fucking bitch. I mean, not really himself anymore, but soon he'll be back, I hope. I can't help but imagine how powerful the quote gun's gonna drop next chapter is gonna be, because I mean, Gong Soap dropped a hard ass quote for Zack to beat Johan, but it's gonna take bringing back fucking Nelson Mandela himself to drop a quote deep enough for Daniel to take out Daniel.
Anyway, why don't you drop your predictions in the comments below and uh, just remember that you're the GOAT. Bye.